Imagine yourself in a new country, surrounded by unfamiliar faces. The first step to socializing is breaking the ice. This means initiating a conversation, even if it's as simple as saying, hello, my name is, followed by your name. You could also ask, where are you from? Or what do you do? This not only starts the conversation, but also shows an interest in the other person's life. Breaking the ice is like opening a door to a whole new world of experiences, connections, and friendships. And often, it's easier than you might think. A friendly approach and a warm smile can make all the difference. It signals to others that you're open, approachable, and interested in getting to know them. So, don't be afraid to make the first move. Start a conversation, ask a question, show an interest. Remember, a simple greeting can open many doors. Finding friends in a foreign country can seem daunting, but it doesn't have to be. One of the easiest ways to meet new people is to join local clubs or groups that align with your interests. Whether it's a book club, a jogging group, or a cooking class, these gatherings are a great place to start conversations and form connections. Attending local events is another excellent way to immerse yourself in the community. Festivals, markets, and concerts not only offer unique cultural experiences, but also opportunities to interact with locals and other foreigners. Last, but certainly not least, show genuine interest in others' cultures. Ask about their traditions, food, and customs. This not only broadens your understanding, but also demonstrates respect and curiosity, which are qualities people appreciate. Remember, it's okay to feel a little nervous. Everybody does when meeting new people. Embrace the challenge. Stepping out of your comfort zone can lead to amazing friendships. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. This old adage holds a lot of truth, especially when you're stepping out of your comfort zone and into a new culture. It's essential to understand and respect cultural differences. One aspect of this is greeting customs. In some countries, a firm handshake is the norm, while in others, a polite bow or a cheek-to-cheek -cheek kiss is more appropriate. Learn about these customs before you step foot in a new place. Next, let's talk about conversation. While you may be used to discussing personal matters with new acquaintances, in some cultures, this may be seen as intrusive. On the other hand, what you consider small talk could be seen as trivial in other cultures. It's all about striking a balance and understanding where certain topics and behaviors fit into the cultural landscape. This understanding shows respect for others and their way of life. Being aware of cultural nuances can help avoid awkward situations. And remember, when in doubt, observe and follow. A small talk, though seemingly trivial, is a powerful social tool. It's like a stepping stone bridging the gap between being strangers and becoming acquaintances. Now, let's delve into some common small talk topics and phrases you can use. The weather is a universal topic. You can always say, lovely weather today, isn't it? Or, can you believe this rain? Food is another common topic. You might say, have you tried the local cuisine? Or, can you suggest any great places to eat? Discussing hobbies or interests can also break the ice. Do you play any sports? Or what kind of music do you like? Are good starters? Talking about local customs or events can also spark a conversation. Try, have you been to the annual festival? Or, what's a must-see around here? Remember, small talk is about building rapport. It's about showing interest, finding common ground, and creating a comfortable atmosphere. Mastering small talk can turn strangers into acquaintances. A curiosity didn't kill the cat in social situations. Indeed, asking questions is key to getting to know people better and showing interest in what they have to say. But how do we ask politely? It's quite simple. Use softeners like, could you, would you mind? Or, I was wondering. For instance, could you tell me more about your job? Or, I was wondering what's your favorite local dish? But asking questions isn't enough. Responding appropriately is equally important. Imagine someone just shared their favorite book with you. You could say, that's interesting, what do you like most about it? Or, I've heard about that book, tell me more. Always show interest and engage in the conversation. And if you agree with a point they made, don't shy away from expressing it. Say, I absolutely agree, or you're right about that. This will help build a connection. Remember, a good conversation is a two-way street. In today's connected world, social media can be your best friend. It's a fantastic tool to reach out and connect with locals, as well as fellow expatriates. Start by following local businesses, tourist attractions, and community pages. They often share local news, events, and cultural tidbits that can help you feel more connected. Next, consider joining social media groups related to your interests or hobbies. Whether you're a foodie, a hiker, or a book lover, 
There's likely a group for that. You'll not only find like-minded people, but also get a taste of how locals engage with these interests. Don't forget about event pages either. They're a treasure trove of information about upcoming local happenings, from concerts to festivals and even language exchange meetups. Attending these events can be a great way to meet people and immerse yourself in the local culture. Remember, social media is about interaction. Engage with posts, share your experiences, and don't hesitate to reach out to people. Embrace technology and it will bring the world closer to you. People are naturally drawn to those who are open and friendly. This principle holds true everywhere, whether you're in your home country or abroad. Embracing openness, an essential part of socializing in a foreign country, is about being approachable, showing genuine interest in others, and being willing to share a bit about yourself. Imagine you're at a local event. You see someone standing alone. Approach them, smile, and introduce yourself. Show interest in their culture, their experiences, and their stories. Remember, a conversation is a two-way street. It's not just about asking questions. It's about listening attentively and responding thoughtfully. But openness isn't just about what you say. It's also about your body language. A warm smile, attentive eye contact, and open body posture all signal that you're receptive and interested in the conversation. So, whether you're striking up a conversation or responding to one, remember to be open, be interested, and be yourself. A positive attitude can attract positive connections. Misunderstandings are inevitable in any conversation, especially in a foreign language. But don't worry, they're not the end of the world. In fact, they can be a great chance to learn and grow. The key here is to handle them gracefully and with patience. So when you find yourself in a situation where things are not quite clear, don't hesitate to ask for clarification. It's better to ask and understand than to make assumptions. You might say something like, I'm sorry, could you please repeat that? Or I didn't quite catch that, could you explain it again? Remember, it's perfectly okay to not understand everything. You're learning after all, and most people appreciate the effort you're making to understand their language and will be more than willing to help. So don't be shy. Embrace these moments as they come. With patience and understanding, you can turn misunderstandings into learning opportunities. Let's learn new words and practice English at level A2. Culture. Culture, the ideas, customs, and social behavior of a particular people or society. Example, learning about the local culture can help you make new friends. Language. Language, the method of human communication, either spoken or written. Example, practicing the local language can make socializing easier. Friendly. Friendly, kind and pleasant. Example, being friendly and smiling can help you meet new people. Introduce. Introduce, to make someone known by name to another. Example, when you meet someone new, you can say, Hi, I'm, your name. Nice to meet you. Local. Local, relating to a particular area or neighborhood. Example, visiting local markets is a good way to meet new people. Custom. Custom, a traditional and widely accepted way of behaving or doing something. Example, respecting local customs shows that you care about the culture. <laughs>